This aquarium is without a filter, without the addition of CO2 or liquid fertilizers. The substrate is flower soil. I haven't changed the water for more than half a year. The aquarium is 11 months old. I can say it's an ecosystem. Now it has stabilized. But I decided to do this. But why? What could be the reason why I did this? As I said in this episode, the first episode, this aquarium is a project. I want to see if it is possible to have a planted aquarium without using sophisticated equipment. I only use an LED lamp for this aquarium. Currently, I have come to the conclusion that it is possible to have a beautiful aquarium under these conditions. But I want to go further with this project, starting from the idea that this aquarium is an ecosystem. The nutrients necessary for plants to grow are already in the aquarium. I repeat, for half a year, I haven't done any water changes. I only fill up the evaporated water from the aquarium. You can see, plants grow quite well in this type of aquarium, not as fast. Regarding the red plants, I have already come to a conclusion. You can see in this episode what it is about. I have noticed that after the plants grow in this aquarium, their growth slows down. After cutting the aquarium plants, I replanted from the tips of the cut plants. This resulted in more plants in the aquarium. There are more plants in the aquarium, but the nutrients for the plants are the same. They do not increase with the growth of the plants or the number of plants. On the contrary, the nutrients in the aquarium are consumed much faster when there are more plants in the aquarium. Don't get me wrong. You can have an aquarium without the addition of carbon dioxide and liquid fertilizers with many plants, but you cannot have a large variety of plant species. Look how it looks. I'm very sorry that I had to do this, but I want to see if the growth rate of the plants changes considerably. I can also find out the time required for the nutrients in the aquarium to recover. Another thing noticed is that plants grow this way instead of growing like this. So I want to see if just by reducing the amount of plants in the aquarium, the plants will grow differently. One such example is this plant. I also want to see if it will intensify its red color because as you can see, it has started to turn green. I risked a lot with what I did because I ruined the balance of the aquarium. Also, let's not forget that I don't use a filter in this aquarium, the plants having this role. I don't know what to expect. The fish are certainly stressed by the changes in the aquarium. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back next week with a new update 
about this aquarium.